a couple of you have asked how to band tails. So what I did is I got my stuff ready here. We've got our boxer puppies. They're three days old. And we're gonna show you how we do it. Now, what I use is beading cord elastic. You can get this at Walmart. I have just a little pair of scissors. And what they say is usually your thumb width or a penny. And I'll show you how to measure that. These guys are a little bit bigger puppies. Um, some of them are a pound and a half already. So we're gonna go a little bit bigger. Now I've already cut my beading cord. There's one for each puppy. And I cut them about six to eight inches long so I have enough to move and work around so I'm not up close. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your puppy and you're gonna take your coin on the underside of their tail to get about a good me measurement and see. So right about there is where I would put the band. I'm going to take the band, and the good thing about this is if you end up tying it too short or too long, you can take it right off, and you can correct it right away. But right here, if you see, she's not happy. Right about there. Yes. Now... You give it a quick pull like that. It does not hurt them. Tie this off and cut. And your tail is banded. Now, if it is too tight, they are going to continue to scream. And you're going to know it. This tail should come off in 7 to 10 days. The end of it will. And a lot of times you'll find it hanging by a little piece of... Um, flesh or something, you can just take and snip it off at that point and it'll be all done and almost healed. I've had no infections with this, unlike when I dock the tails. So I've done this for probably near 12 years now. Um, the dew claws we already did this morning on the little ones. So they are all set and this little girl is ready in about seven to 10 days, she will have an actual boxer tail.